hello guys welcome back so in this video tutorial we are going to work I mean as I told you in the previous video tutorial that we will be working on the on displaying the accept call button on the receiver side and also we will allow users to cancel the call for both the receiver and the sender so for that uh, first of all uh, we have to go to our calling activity now on our calling activity we have on start method now inside this on start method we need up uh, here at the bottom we can say user ref add value int listener new value int listener first of all make sure to put a semicolon here and then in here we are going to check something and that is we can check that if data snapshot dot child send your user id if this contain child which is by the name ringing and it does not i mean if it contains the child ringing and we need to add another condition which is to make sure that it does not contain the child calling okay so it means make sure to add an exclamation mark here which means that calling is not present there so if it has a child ringing it means that this is the receiver of the call and in that case we have to display the accept call button so all you're gonna need is just what is the name of our that button it is by the name mac call button okay mac call button let me just confirm one thing the id for this is make call and we have already cast this let's just give it some proper name make call is not a good name here okay here if you see then this is the id make call okay and this is the but uh, the button name it, instead of calling it make call this is our basically accept call let's give it proper name here okay so accept call button copy it and then make sure to replace it here also okay so we have to display our accept call button dot set visibility it will be visible view dot visible now the next thing that we will be doing in this video tutorial is to allow user to cancel the call both from the sender and receiver side so we have our button i mean an image view button for that which is by the name cancel call button so we can we have already casted here so what we're gonna do is here we can just say cancel call button dot set on click listener new on click listener now here when we uh, basically save the information whenever a user make a call to someone then when you when we come here I mean uh, I mean I am telling about with the backend okay whenever the application come to this activity which is by the name calling activity okay which display the profile information all these things here you can see we have this I mean we are storing this information I mean just to let the receiver know about the sender and to let the sender know about the receiver okay so here we need to add further one more condition which is our cancel I mean if this cancel button is clicked then we must not execute this code further okay so we will just add a condition for that so let's create a variable by the name checker initialize it with null and whenever the user click on cancel button then we can just pass it a value which will be by the name c l i c k e d clicked okay make sure to use this same and then you can just copy this and let's add this condition here so we can say that if cancel uh, sorry if checker dot equals to clicked and end so if this is not clicked sorry I mean if this button is not clicked if the cancel button is not clicked then in that case we will execute this code or you can uh, say that we will not execute this code if a user click on the cancel button okay this will be skipped so we just make sure that the cancel button is not clicked 
or you can say if a user click on this cancel button then that call will not be executed hope you understand this I mean when we add this exclamation mark here which means not now once it is done the next thing is to call a function here which we will create now which will be by the name cancel calling user so let's just copy this method name and then come here to the bottom and let's create our this function private void cancel calling user then in here we are going to write a code for cancelling all these information now basically we are now going to create a reference for this information that we store here okay and there we will just remove that so, but there we have to make sure for the receiver also so we can say user reference dot which is basically I am I'm talking about the calling and the ringing information that we stored in the previous video tutorial okay so we can say dot child pass the sender user ID dot child calling add listener for single value event new value event listener make sure okay already we put that so we can say that if uh, this child exists which is calling so we can just simply say if data snapshot dot exist data snapshot represent over this reference and data snapshot dot has child calling then we are going to get the calling ID now calling ID hope you remember let's create this variable quickly private string calling ID initialize it with null and then we will be needing another one ringing ID now if I uh, uh, just make sure to put a comma here sorry for that now okay first let complete this then I will tell you what this calling ID is data snapshot dot child calling dot get value dot to string and once we have this we can say user reference now we can pass the calling ID here dot child ringing and we have to remove this so you can say remove value dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and then once we remove that we have to remove the sender information also now let me tell you before we proceed this calling ID is basically the receiver ID which exists inside the uh, calling node if we go to the database then here you can see we have this user who is calling okay I mean this person make a call whose name is Johnson hope, hope you remember that from the previous video tutorial okay here you can see calling node and then inside this calling node we have this uh, calling child which starts from small c small English alphabet okay and it contains this atf jd ID which is basically the person who will receive a call from Johnson okay at F so at F is this person that's why here it is the child which is by the name ringing and then this ringing contain this ID which is WFEF so it means that this person whose name is Muhammad Ali receiving a call from this person which is Johnson okay so basically uh, this ID is this calling ID is the ID of the receiver so that's why we say calling ID which means this one okay and then dot child ringing and we are now removing this whole thing from here and now once it is done that is the code that we just write here once it is done once it is removed then on the completion of that we are now going to remove the calling node also from the sender uh, from the sender node I mean the person who makes a call so here we can just simply say that user reference dot child and pass the sender user id here dot child calling dot remove value dot add on complete listener 
new on complete listener by the way here let's just add condition that if task is successful then execute this code and once it is deleted we are now going to send the user back okay to the context activity but we want to refresh our app so we will send the user to the register activity as you know that if a user is already logged in then we have already added a validation on the register activity that will automatically send the user to the context activity so what we're going to do here is that let's just copy an intent instead of writing it we have already okay we have no intent here so let's just type it quickly we can say start activity new intent we are on the calling activity dot this we are sending the user to the register activity dot class and then you can of course finish this now the next thing is now this is from the uh, sender side sender is basically the online user who basically make a call now what i mean on the receiver side the receiver has also see two buttons on the screen one is the accept button and one is the cancel so what if the receiver press the cancel button instead of this uh, online user i mean the sender okay so we have to write the code for the receiver also so for that uh, and also make sure to okay we have not add a semicolon here oh i'm really sorry for that cut this code okay Control x first i just put a semicolon here at the end i'm really sorry for that okay and then paste that code inside it so if this calling child exists then execute this also else if condition and then else will be if this not exist which means if the receive will cancel first then the else the else statement will execute and we will do the same thing which is to send the user from calling to register activity registration activity which will automatically send the user from the register activity to the context activity as we add the validation in the very first user tutorial if you remember on the register activity which is this one okay because the user is already logged in so yeah i mean that's it now the next thing is to do the same thing for the receiver side so for the receiver as you know that the receiver will also be an online user so for that what we're gonna do is you can just copy this whole code okay users i mean that we write inside that function okay here you can see it this whole code that we write inside this method by the name cancel calling user just copy this code and then come down below okay let's write a comment first here that is from sender side cancel calling user from sender side and then here we can write a code that from rece from receiver side cancel calling user from receiver side and then pass that whole code here now we will do some changes here for the receiver so first of all uh, the important thing is that look the re from the receiver side he has an, his own application okay this is skype and he will be the online user so this sender user id basically contain the online user id okay but in that case the online user it, there will be no calling node i mean for the receiver side it will be a child by the name ringing not will be but it is obviously i mean this is the user id and this is the child ringing okay so online user id then the ringing and add listener for single value event now here we have to check that if data snapshot dot has child ringing if data snapshot exists and data snapshot dot has child ringing so then we are going to get the ringing id and also make sure to do the changes here which is to get the ringing id and this ringing id is basically the sender id which is ringing okay so this id wf is the sender id i mean the person who makes a call so we get that id and we store it inside the string type variable ringing id and then we say user reference dot child ringing id 
and this ringing ID is the person who makes a call and that node contains which is basically this is the ringing uh, I mean the sender ID okay and it has child by the name calling as you know that we get the ID from here okay hope you understand this okay I, I explain it three times that is we get the ID this ID we store it inside the ringing ID string type variable and this ID is basically this ID okay which is the sender ID and it contains a child by the name calling so we have to pass I mean write the node which is by the name calling and then dot remove value and once it is removed the next thing is to do I mean to remove this ringing child also so for that we can just say that sender user ID I mean the online user ID and it contains a child by the name ringing and we have to remove this whole ringing value I mean ringing child and then we are sending the user to the registration activity and also in the else statement we are doing the same thing so yeah that's it now one thing is yeah everything is okay now let's just run the application so I connect my phone and let's just test it so the application is running now on both devices here you can see it on this phone I am logged in as Johnson and on this phone I am logged in as Muhammad Ali let's, let's allow Johnson to make call to Muhammad Ali so let's click here here you can see it is now calling now let's just uh, click on the cancel button so that we can see if it is working or not here you can see it the call is cancelled successfully and uh, Johnson is sent back to the context activity here you can see it is also deleted from the database and now on the receiver side the receiver will just click on this cancel button in order to go back to the contacts activity now we will add validation that is let's say if the sender cancels the call and here on the receiver side if the receiver click on the accept call button then we will add uh, basically there a validation that will check first that is if the ringing or calling not exist or not okay so we will send back the user to the context activity in case if the calling or register uh, ringing node is deleted already and if it is not deleted and the uh, receiver click on the accept button then you will just simply send the user to the man I mean the activity which we will in which we will basically allow video stream that is the video chat between the sender and receiver now in the next video tutorial we will be working on the accept call feature in which we will uh, basically establish a video chat between the sender and the receiver so that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now